when you're doing a project like this and you're going back in time and you're looking at excavating your own work and kind of mining that, it was really instructive on how to make the new work. The show that we are showing at the Whitney is a mid-career survey, so covering about 25 years of Julie's practice. There's a new painting that I made and I'm making for the show here. The insistence on new work and the idea of like how that's important because there was this time of suspension with the pandemic. There's a wall that faces the river and I was really interested in that wall and the relationship to the river and the relationship to the exterior. As you look out, I look at it every day from my studio, you sense the 19th century-ness of this city from even though so much of the architecture has changed. The Hudson River is the reason the city exists. There's a sensibility in different periods of life of the history of the making of this place and the kind of immigrant nature of this place. Julie is an artist who has forever in her practice been thinking about the ways in which colonialism, history, I would say specifically white supremacy, really are implicated in the life and the world that we live in today. So the underlying photographs in the painting are based on anti-immigration rallies in Germany and pro-Brexit rallies. And some of the other paintings are based on migration camps that are at the southern border here in the U.S. and migration detention camps, I mean. What I was interested in is the kind of juxtaposition of that blurred image, that image that you can't necessarily locate what is going on in that, but you feel the riotousness of this anti-immigration experience that took place in these kind of huge rallies. Julie is somebody who is really invested in abstraction, obviously, and thinking about how we can tell stories, create paintings, without necessarily relying on figuration or kind of one-to-one -one representations of people or places. I think what's core to the work that one gets involved in is, the, is an effort to make sense of who one is and, and where one is and what one is in the world. I was really interested in mining myself and who I was and what made me. For me, coming from Ethiopia, in the midst of a civil war that went through an intense revolution that was co-opted, and um, we left that country at that time, that, that form of change and instability and radical kind of change has always been part of the, the lens and the, and the way that I negotiate the world. Abstraction is, is something that you cannot define it, you cannot necessarily hold it. There's an opaqueness to how you think about and how one experienced a painting. My interest is not in trying to dictate or determine or explain or try to give any information to anyone in that way. There aren't any directives or any um, proposals in these paintings. These paintings are really experiential paintings that are informed by the time, by me, by this moment, by trying to digest that. <laughs>